called Digital Dilemma by Steve Cook. Uh, it's got a lot of pattern, a lot of bike play in it, as, as a lot of Steve Cook's stuff does have. So um, it's a fantastic routine to fit in, into anybody's repertoire. So you've basically got a lock, it's a combination lock, it's got 10, uh, 10 different numbers on it, and it's, it's a five digit combination. So basically, you borrow somebody's ring, um, and you can place it on the lock, you can lock it on. Whoops, uh, like that. And then you can randomly mix up the numbers so that they don't know which is which number it's locked on with. Uh, and you give a bit of bike when you say, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and uh, get you to open it. So they, they try and open it, they can't. And you say, Oh, well actually I've forgotten the combination, but don't, don't worry about I've, I've forgotten the combination, but it's in this envelope here, so you give them the envelope. And while they're doing that, you can be you can be chatting to someone else and they open the envelope and they look at it and they oh so it's I can't understand it, but it's all written in Chinese. So oh, that's because the lock's made in China. Sorry, do you not understand Chinese? Oh, right, so. no, never mind, look, we could always get a, a hacksaw or something to, to cut it off, but I don't want to damage your lock, is your ring valuable, and you get all of the gags and things in it, that's the thing. But then you decide, well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll do a card trick instead. So we're going to have five cards selected by yourself at random. Uh, we're not going to use any of the picture cards, I've already taken the picture cards out, so there's no picture cards, because we're going to use the actual face value of the cards to represent a number of the lock, so we're going to represent one will be one. Uh, six will be six, and if you get ten, that'll be a zero. Um, so you can cut the cards a few times, uh, get the spectators to say stop whenever they like. So you flick it back of the cards, they stop whenever they say stop, you just turn all the cards over. So you suggest a genuine cut at that point, and you go through the deck and you say, Well, look at the face down cards, put them to one side. So we're going to deal off five cards, they're going to represent the numbers of the lock. So you deal one, two, three, four. Oh, I've actually got another number, another number there, it's a duplicate, so we're not going to use that because you can't use a duplicate, so we'll carry on three. So we've got five different numbers, so we've got a six, a four, an eight, a ten, which is going to be a zero, and a three. So what you do is you give the spectator to the lock, they punch the numbers in, so they punch in six, four, eight, zero, one, and then six, four, eight, zero, three. Click it, and the lock clicks open, and they retrieve the ring. So that's a, it's a nice little routine, like I say, you get loads of patter with it. Nice little storyline, you get a couple of little gimmicks, you get the lock with it, you get the little gag um, Chinese prediction.